one of the projects I get asked about a lot is our pocket cushion. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to make one really simply. I'm going to be making a 12 inch cushion cover, but all of the measurements can be adjusted for whichever size you want. I'm going to be using fabric from Vintage Circus by Lewis and Irene, which we used in April's Inspirations Club along with some turquoise spotty from Raisin Hovel and this really cute little garden dot by In The Beginning Fabrics. So we're going to make the front of the cushion first. For the front of the cushion you need to cut two 13 inch squares. So we've got our two 13 inch squares. If you're making a different size cushion cover, whatever size the cushion is, just add an inch to that measurement. So if you're working with a 14 inch cushion, cut your squares 15 inches. So this one is going to be the main part of the front of my cushion and this one's going to be the pocket. For the pocket you need to fold your fabric in half and press. Okay, so I'm just ironing my fabric to get a nice crisp fold. Now it is folded in half. For the next bit, you're going to need your sewing machine. And you're just going to top stitch along that edge just to keep it nice and straight. Okay, for the next bit, you're going to need some pins. Lay your main piece of fabric nice and flat and position your pocket. And then just pop a couple of pins in to hold it in place. I put my pins in pointing outwards and then just sew straight over them. But if you don't like doing that, obviously you can take them out as you go. Okay, once it's pinned in place, you're going to sew around the you're going to sew around the three edges of the pocket quite close to the edge. And this is just to hold it in place. So I'm probably sewing about a quarter of an inch from the edge. When you get to the corner, make sure your needle is down, just lift up the foot and pivot. And that is the front of your cushion. For this cushion, um, I'm going to do an envelope back. Obviously, you could do a zip, you could do any type of cushion back you want, you could even add a button. Doing an envelope back like me, you'll need two pieces of fabric, each about 13 inches by 9 inches. You could go slightly bigger, so you could go 13 by 10 to give you a slightly bigger overlap. Or, if you're working with a fat quarter, cut a piece that's 13 inches wide, fold it in half and just cut it down the middle. So, we need to hem one long edge of each piece. We do that by folding it over anything between a quarter of an inch and half an inch. Doesn't need to be too accurate, just try and make it nice and straight. So fold it over once and iron and then fold it over again. Do exactly the same with one of the long edges on the other piece. And we need to bring the same machine back up. neatly along that edge which is the folded edge. Now 
we're ready to put our cushion together. So place your cushion front, face up on the table. Place the first of your cushion backs face down on top so that the folded edge is near the middle and line up that top edge. The other piece goes again on top, face down, so that the folded edge is near the middle. I'm just going to pop some pins in to hold the whole thing in place. Okay, so it's all pinned. You might remember that I cut the front, so it was 13 inches, but I'm making a 12 inch cushion cover. So I can now leave half inch seam allowance as I sew around the edge. So try and get an even half inch all the way around. I'm going to start halfway down one edge. Like before, when you get to the corner, make sure the needle's down and just pivot. the beginning make sure you either lock in, the, lock in those stitches by either going backwards and forwards or on my machine there's a button to press that just locks them in. Okay, remove it from the machine and take out those pins. Now you can either, to stop it fraying, you can either just cut around the edge with some pinking shears or I'm going to sew all the way around the edge of mine again with a zigzag stitch just make sure that your stitch doesn't cross the line of stitching that you've already done. You want it to stay on the outside of that line of stitching. Nearly finished. All we need to do now is go around the edge and just trim off any excess fabric. I'm cutting quite close to where I've done that zigzag stitch but being really, really careful not to cut through it. Now you're ready to turn your cushion cover to the right side. So through that hole in the back where the overlap is, just push it through and push out those corners. Now that you've turned the cushion cover in the right way, all you need to do, pop in a cushion pad. So just squeeze it in like you would a pillow in a pillowcase. Make sure you push it right down into those corners. There you have your pocket cushion. Perfect. A little elephant to live in, which was from the Ava and the Oliphant panel that was in last month's £20 inspirations box. It's also great for putting your book in at bedtime, anything like that. I'd love to see some pictures of yours, so do remember to post them to Instagram and to our Facebook page.